everybody. I am doing a little keto food vlog showing you what I keep on hand and what I use to lose the weight that I've lost. So let's get started. All right, here is everything just quickly so you can see. And then I'll try to go over it quickly. I don't want this to be super long. Obviously, we have pork rinds. And I don't have these a lot. Just every now and then I feel like something salty, crunchy. My husband actually likes the plain ones, so I got him a bag. Um, almond milk. It is, I like to put it in coffee once in a while, or tea, or whatever. Let's see if I can find that. It's kind of heavy because it's brand new. It has one carb per cup plus one dietary fiber, so that equals zero carbs. My heavy whipping cream. I know people count carbs in this, but I like the fact that this one says zero. I use this for baking or making crackers. When I feel like having my almond pancakes, almond flour pancakes, I should say, I use a little bit of that. This is fun for baking. These are all a lot of baking things to, to come up with creations. This is my coconut flour. My I ordered this online from Amazon. This is oat fiber. This is has a lot of fiber, but it has like no carbs because it cancels itself out completely. My coffee that I love. Yum. I ordered this special from the Orchard Lane Country Store. They they order and keep it on hand for me. And it's a two and a half pound bag for just over $15. That goes really well with this stevia. The stevia is super sweet, but it has a little funky aftertaste. And when you put the two together, they kind of balance out. Unsweetened coconut flakes are nice for baking or making fat bombs. Farm fresh eggs, aren't those pretty? There's duck eggs in there too, very cool. Use this for baking when I wanna hold things together and give them a little more fiber. This I also use for baking to hold things together, or it also for gravy. A little bit of this goes a long way if you're trying to make a low carb gravy with just like the meat broth and heavy whipping cream. This is my go-to snacks when I'm hungry and I need just a little something to carry me over until I can get to a real meal. One of the cheeses I enjoy, I got this at the Mennonite store, The the discount grocery. If you have a discount grocery, check them out in your area because the deals are pretty good. These are my Dollar General pumpkin seeds and I like these because they don't have that white gross coating on them. This is kind of rubbed off, but this is um, soybeans, edaname, dried green. Uh, I don't think they're salted, so they're okay for snacking. It's just one at a time. They're lo very low carb. I can't remember exactly what. Pumpkin seeds, very low carb also. These are shelled. Let's see if I hold the camera in the right spot. Shelled and salted. And they may not be the best keto choice because they are made with canola oil. These are raw, wa raw walnuts. And I like to snack on these or make fat bombs with them or you know, keto candy or whatever. Sunflower seeds, these are raw. As you can see, I'm about due for some more. Cream cheese, this is handy to have on hand if you want to make anything. I haven't tried this yet. I just found this. I had to actually ask somebody. A lot of people have been talking about jicama online, so I thought, yeah, we'll give it a whirl. We'll try it. It's supposed to be like a low-carb uh, it's kind of a root vegetable and you can use it to make, cook it and make like french fries I guess. Or one gal, um, Chantal, she made um, like an apple crisp with it. And zucchini, got this from Meyer. they had them on sale. I love these nice little tender ones because I, I can handle just slicing these up like chips and salting them and munching while I'm watching TV. Big bag of broccoli florets, I gotta get back in the freezer pretty quick here. Brussels sprouts. You gotta watch these. The carb count can be kind of high, but it, you know if it's a little something different, you want a little vegetable different. Cauliflower, green beans. Here's our meat. I normally um, I need to stock up on um, burger, but I don't have any pepperoni, sausage. This is pork steak. 
bacon. This is the chicken from the rotisserie chicken I got at Meyer. It's already pre-shedded, so I've been kind of snacking on that. And this is, I'm super excited about this big bag of sliced mushrooms I got at the, um, the discount grocery. So this ginormous bag for less than $9. Love it. Uh, cilantro seasoning. This is, this is all just kind of random stuff. This hunts no salt added tomato sauce. You can use this to make your own ketchup or your own, um, barbecue sauce and, and it, there's no sugar in it, no added sugar. And, um, so it has like three carbs for a quarter of a cup. So if you, if you want something tomatoey, and I like tomatoes, but you, you do have to watch it because it is a fruit. This is my like ranch dressing, peppercorn ranch. And this has one carb for two tablespoons. These are all the waters I like to drink. And I try to limit this to one today because I think it does have like the funky sweetener in it. Bouillons. So if you're wanting, if you just need a little something, make yourself a cup of bouillon. These are seasonings and spices. I try to add this to, I can't taste this. But the only reason I use it is for, let's see if we can get it to focus, the potassium so that I make sure my potassium is up. Cinnamon, and these are all my extracts for baking and, you know, if I'm in the mood to make some kind of a little treat, you know, I've got these choices. Of course, avocado, lovely avocado, aroma tomatoes, and pickles. Pickles are a great little snack for me when I'm in the mood. Mustard is pretty much a freebie, no carbs in mustard. Frank's hot sauce, in order to get a carb, you would have to actually use quite a bit because it's in canned chicken breast. And these are fun for making my tres leche cake, along with a heavy whipping cream, my keto tres leche cake. And I'm actually thinking about trying to make like a um, curried chicken or butter chicken, Thai butter chicken. And my fats, whoa. Tried to knock it over. Red palm. This actually tastes like grass clippings, so I don't use it very often. And olive oil, coconut, regular butter, carry gold I use specifically in my coffee, my bulletproof coffee. I tried these. If you are somebody who likes sushi, this is seaweed. And it tastes like seaweed. But it's not bad. There's no carbs and it's super lightweight. It's like you don't even think there's anything in there. But if you just needed a little salty snack, hey, get your nose away from my food. And again, cilantro for seasoning. So there you have it. Um, normally with the meat, like I said, we'll have any kind of meat you like. Chicken, beef, pork, fish. It's a source of protein. It's all good. So if you have any questions, please, please, please give me them. And yes, I know that some of this stuff has stuff that is supposedly not as good for you as the organic or the, you know, made with the better fats. But as of today, I have lost 61.2 pounds since January 12th. So it's working. Whether it should or not, it's working. So, hope you like this video. Please give it a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already and um, give me a thumbs up if you like to see more types of videos like this. Thanks!